somebody who finds you intensely attractive, extremely sexually attracted to you with this particular card. Hello Aries, Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome to your singles reading. Singles, singles, singles. We're going to see who's coming in to your life. This will be somebody that you're either currently, just recently, within like the last week, connected with, or somebody coming in in the near future. All of these cards have been pre-shuffled. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so that tells me you might have gone through a difficult time recently. And if you've gone through a difficult time recently, then we do see that that's about to change. So we have the Three of Wands, the Queen of Wands, there you are, the Temperance card, the Sun, Seven of Wands, Five of Swords, Zero to Three Months, Three to Six Months, and Potential Outcome of the Current Situation. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. So that could be you, Aries, or that could be somebody that you're dealing with. <clears throat> Excuse me. King of Pentacles is somebody who doesn't give up, who is extremely loyal. Could be somebody that you were in a relationship with in the past. Now, Aries, for you, we have the Three of Wands. Now, as always, Aries, this can be vice versa. Uh, I'm noting that because you're over here for sure. So, with this Three of Wands, you're focused on the future. In fact, you're focused so much on the future, you're focused on a specific thing happening. You're waiting for movement in a particular area of your life. You may be a little bit worried about when is it ever going to get here. You may be worried that your love life is never going to straighten itself out. Um, you may be worried that nobody's coming towards you. Well, guess what? Somebody's on the way. We have the Queen of Wands. This is somebody who finds you intensely attractive, extremely sexually attracted to you with this particular card. They find you fun. They find you flirty. They find you to be alluring and um, quite beautiful or handsome. Between the two of you, we have the Temperance card. Patience is going to be needed here. It's possible that either you or your person is dealing with a lot of chaos in their life, a lot of struggles, a lot of stress, a lot of strain. We know that everybody in the world is right now. So it's very possible that, you know, this particular card is indicating that 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 life situations are gonna affect this connection. Now your greatest challenge right now is the sun. Coming to a point of enlightenment about what this person will mean to you, does mean to you, and could mean to you. With the sun, there may be a lack of happiness here because you're still waiting on something regarding the future. So it's hard to see the happiness with regards to this love connection. Communication, hmm, is not go too well. Seven of Wands, although this is my Hobbit card, we're speaking of communication. The Seven of Wands, when we talk about communication, is Aries, you being very defensive, you be, being very firmly rooted in what it is that you believe. Nobody is able to sway you from your beliefs. And in fact, people may be arguing with you or causing you, um, a little bit of mental stress associated with their words, which we see here, especially this person. There's something about this person that the two of you can't seem to get on the, on the same page with regards to communication going forward. If that's the case and you have not yet met this person, Aries, one thing to consider is the fact that this is changeable. If you change the way you react and interact with this person, it can potentially change the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is when somebody feels like they have to win an argument, they have to win a battle in order to move forward. In this particular situation, you openly and honestly communicate and you work very hard not to allow any 
strife to occur between the two of you. Now in the first three to five months, oh, look at that, we have battles. Battle, battle, battle. It's a, the two of you are not gonna be on the same page with regards to communication. And three to six months, we have uh, independence and s that singles energy. I think you're gonna let this one go. Ooh, look at that. Queen of coins, king of coins. Maybe you're not gonna be letting this one go. With the queen of coins, I feel that, you know, you are going to give to the connection. You are going to give it a shot. It's possible that this five of wands is less fighting and more of an internal struggle, wondering where this connection is going. And the nine of coins is you focused on your future, focused on your, your financial abundance. Let's look at this. Tell me about the king of coins, queen of coins, please. Wow, all right, so we get the Seven of Swords and the Devil. It's possible one of you may be married or in a long-term committed relationship. If that's the case, tread very cautiously, Aries. With the Seven of Swords here and the Devil, I do feel that you or this other person has gone through a very traumatic relationship in the past, and that does appear to be affecting the connection. But it looks like it has potential. It's just, you have to overcome these communication issues. So it's gonna be up to you as to whether or not the communication issues are as important as your connection to this person. All right, Aries, we're gonna take a little bit of a look at this in the extended. We are also gonna look at a new person. So if you're interested in finding out who the, you know, the second person is, Feel free to check out the extended preview coming up as well as the link down below for the extended. All right. Have a wonderful day, Taurus. Or did I call you Taurus? I've been calling you Taurus these last, that's this very, very ending. And I think that's because this is a Taurus card. I wonder if you're dealing with a Taurus. Aries, my loves. We are going to look at um, this particular spread in the extended and we're also going to look at who's coming into your life other than this person all right my dears see you again soon oh one more quick thing aries i, I neglected to know we have aries sagittarius aries pisces leo leo aquarius leo virgo aquarius capricorn Taurus and Aries and Capricorn Sagittarius, if that's of interest to anyone. Aries, down at the very bottom of my clarifying deck, we have the devil again. You could just very simply be dealing with a Capricorn because all of these cards have to do with Capricorn or you could be dealing with somebody who turns out really great in the beginning and, and ends up being a little bit on the toxic side. Ten of coins, judgment in reverse. All right, so this may be somebody you already know. They may have already made a decision about you, either to move forward or not move forward, or you may have already made a decision about them. Like if they come back around, you're willing to move forward. Yeah, see, look at that, seven of wands in the reverse. It's like this, <laughs> and let's remove these. Let's, let's look at the new person, because Aries, this does not look healthy. All right, let's see whom else is coming towards you. Aries. Aries. All right, 
So we have the Strength card. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Chariot. We have the Magician. The Queen of Coins, yet again. And the Ace of Wands. Zero to three, three to six, and... So we have the King of Cups on the bottom. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.